Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Prefix 47. Prefix today is mini, M-I-N-I, -I, as a word beginning. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If the prefix mini is used to form words, it usually refers to a smaller version of something. That is its main use. Uh, we have a second use here, too, with some clothes having a hemline above the knee. Okay, let's continue. The prefix mini comes from a shortened version of miniature. Uh, and previously from Latin, minium. Okay, let's continue. And we've got several examples here to show just how it's used. Here's our first one, mini bar. A mini bar is merely a small refrigerator. You could also say mini refrigerator, like if you had one of these really small refrigerators in your house, or maybe a college student may have one in their dorm room, uh, you wouldn't call it a mini bar, you'd call it a mini refrigerator. But in a hotel room, it's often called a mini bar because often it has a lot of alcoholic drinks in it and some snacks and some other things too. So let's get back to this. A mini bar is merely a small refrigerator in a hotel room containing alcoholic drinks, snacks, etc., in which guests can choose to buy or not to buy. Although some hotels are a little tricky, they don't always clarify this. Like if somebody was traveling for the first time, uh, and there was like no signs that, you know, made this explicit, you know, somebody might mistake and think, oh, wow, this hotel room comes with a lot of free food, you know, and if you drank and you ate a lot uh, from the refrigerator, you can end up with a pretty big bill. Uh, so here's our example. Don't take anything from the mini bar in a hotel room. Everything is overpriced. Yeah, where, you know, realistically, if you walked out of that hotel room, you know, five minutes down the street and found a convenience store, even for just one little soda or something, it'd be a lot cheaper. All right, let's continue. Mini break, a very short break. You know, when we're talking about breaks, probably like five or ten minutes. Or a very short uh, holiday or vacation, you know, probably just a couple of days. Uh, they had a mini break during that long meeting so people could have a bathroom break. Yeah, in the past, I've sometimes had classes that are two hours, two and a half hours. And it was standard to give like a five or ten minute mini break in between, you know, just for that reason. So people could go to the bathroom or do some emergency thing. Uh, number three, mini bus, a very small bus used for transport of small groups. Good. In Bangkok, one can book a mini bus to the airport. Now, a lot of times they call it a mini bus, but usually it's, it's just like a fancy bus uh, or van, a fancy van, I'm sorry, that could fit, you know, maybe 10, 15 people in it. Uh, and they call it a mini bus. But of course, that's a lot cheaper than other transport and gets you to the airport, you know, quickly if you book it. All right, let's continue. Mini chapel, a very small chapel. Uh, that hospital has a mini chapel on the first floor. So the first floor uh, of some hospitals, they have it's just a very small room. It's a mini chapel where people could pray in case somebody was in serious condition in a hospital. Okay, um, mini dress, a woman's short dress with a hemline above one knee. So she has several mini dresses in her wardrobe. Okay, good. Mini skirt, a very short skirt, probably the most common one here. Uh, she likes to wear a black mini skirt on her hot date. So maybe if she's got a date with somebody she wants to look very sexy, maybe she'll pull out the mini skirt, you know, for this date that, you know, she wants, she wants it to go better. Let's continue. Number seven, uh, mini dictionary, a very small compact or pocket dictionary or pocket size dictionary. Uh, she often carries a mini dictionary in her bag. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.